Hello, this is Nathan Lott, and on today's app of the week, I'm going to be talking about Audiobus. Audiobus is a way to get a whole bunch of different audio apps together into one unified output. So let's take a look at Audiobus. When you open up Audiobus, you see three boxes, an input, an effect, and output. Audiobus supports over a thousand apps. I have quite a lot of them, but not, of course not that much. So these are all of the inputs. These are basically the, the music making apps. Then you have your effects. I only have one effect app, and that's Live Effects or Tonal Energy Tuner. And then this is your output. This is where you're recording into, like GarageBand or Loopy. So let's bring in an app. And we're going to bring in Mersenne. Mersenne is a cool app because it takes the a front end and back end of the note and to uh, two different notes. One of the cool things about Audiobus is the little toolbar. So I can press the icon and go straight back to Audiobus. And now I'm going to select an output. And I'm going to record into Loopy. I'm going to turn on the metronome and get it started. And then go back to Mersenne and start recording a loop. Well, first I, I want to play around and see if I can figure something out. When I'm ready to record, I press on the record button and I'm recording an eight bar melody or loop and I'm waiting for that eight to go all the way to the top and then the record button turns red. So there's my loop. I can stop it from there. And I'm controlling Loopy from within Mersenne with Audiobus. That is the cool thing about that toolbar. So there's my loop in Loopy. And now I will go back to Audiobus and I'm going to choose another app, Animoog, for a uh, Moog synthesizer, and record a bass line. Now those didn't record and the reason why is that I didn't set up Loopy as an output for audio for Animoog. So now that I've done that, now I can record a loop using Animoog. loops playing, playing simultaneously. Now I'll go back to audio bus and let's get rid of all of these by tapping the eject button which is the triangle with the line underneath them. And I'm going to bring Loopy into GarageBand. So I want to make Loopy the input and I want to make GarageBand the output. And here I have some feedback. A little bit of troubleshooting. Make sure you turn off all the monitors. Now 
now that I've recorded that into GarageBand, I can go into GarageBand and see my recording. It recorded both of those loops into one clip in GarageBand. One thing that I forgot to do when I was prepping for this episode is that you have to add instruments if you want to keep on layering on top of. It just won't create it for you. So I've added a new instrument and I've already recorded my loopy and so now I want to record a drum track. So I'm going to go to Drum Jam and pick out a drum beat to go with this little melody that I came up with. So now that I've found a drum beat I like, then I can just hit the record button from within Drum Jam and start recording into GarageBand. <laughs> Stop that. And I have my drums now with my melody. And notice how GarageBand knows to take the icon of the different apps that it's using. So the icon for Drum Jam and the icon for Loopy. Now I'm going to add one more instrument. Take out Drum Jam and I'm going to add Thumb Jam who of course is the same developer that made Drum Jam. But I need to go into GarageBand and create a new track, which I almost forgot to do. When I find something I like, I make the recording. So I can open up GarageBand and see the new flute file. I don't like that, so I'm going to delete it by double tapping the timeline and deleting. And then going back into Thumb Jam. And we'll try again. And I think what I'm going to do is just keep it simple. Going back into Audio Bus, there are a couple other features that I want to look at. First is the mixer. So if you have a bunch of different instruments going and you want to adjust the volume, you can do that. This is a loop I recorded several days ago, and you can adjust the volume within Audio Bus. And you can stop that go back into audio, and it also supports MIDI. I'm not going to go over the MIDI stuff. I still need to learn more about that. In the settings, you can control latency, sample rate. You can adjust the input gain and the multi-route audio, turn off and on. Then there's the more MIDI controls. You can clear the whole session, and then you can save what you have as a preset or load other presets that you may have made. And that is Audio Bus. It is a very powerful app that supports, like I said, over a thousand different apps. And that is going to do it for this screencast, I hope you enjoyed it and talk to you next time.